Now that we are all here, what news from the source? Right. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. Yeah? With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. The situation beareth closer observation. Of that there is no doubt. And doth compound our need to return unto the source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Yeah? Thanks in large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white aurasite, but without its regrettable limitations. And, after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. An arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel, if you will. However... However? Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. What? I don't, I don't know. Just so, my lady. <clears throat> blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. Oh, okay. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. You gotta use blood to... okay. So it's just a catalyst to do that the process. The case, we must either alter the process of inheritance, so as to require no such thing, or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. I am hopeful that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. I can only go back home at will, though. Why are you... Makes no sense. My oh shit, rabbit girl. I do hope you haven't come to tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. No. I had hoped to speak with the warrior of darkness. What? But there is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. She wants to talk to me. But why though? Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless she didn't want to. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may yet be of some use to Lena. And we're just gonna nod our head to everything. Okay. Sure, man. Alright. What seems to be the problem here? The Sin Eater? What? Peace can lead to complacency and they can lead to peace victory. Okay. All right. Yeah, why not this other guy? Yeah, I, I, I what the? <clears throat> He's over there. All right, 
Guess I'm gonna have to take the shit. Alright, I'll take the wheel. I feel like there's something more to this though, like there's- she's not telling me the whole thing. Get out of here. Okay, fourth job. Going to fourth job. Talk to Melina, over here. Alpha, no, why are you here? I thought you were gonna leave me to do this on my own, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna train these noobs, is that what this is? Seem to be missing my- wait, who's this guy? Hey. <laughs> it kinda looks like Kaden. <laughs> That's a guy. Old Ray guy. Uh, friend. Buddy. Yeah. This was the- this was the scene- the, uh, no, no, no. This was the scene eater? This thing right here? Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. No, Captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. What? By himself. Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of Oh! I've never seen anything like it. It's fucking the not our bird. Who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says no. I'm a warrior of light. Oh. That was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. Oh, their history tells them that the... I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, yeah. it'd be him. The warrior of darkness. Light is bad. Oh, oh, I didn't know. It's an honor. <laughs> this guy. Stop smiling! There's more important things going around here. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return to your posts. I had hoped to fight at your side today. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. What a nice job. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the Flood. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrades' deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Yeah, I got that. I got the picture of that. <sighs> Still. If this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. Yeah, no problem. With that concluded, shall we return to the Crystarium? There is a proposal I should like to make. Forgive me. <clears throat> there is one more thing. Oh? A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. I knew there was something more. Take your time. I shall go on ahead. All right, Lena. What 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 the fuck's this about? <sighs> I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. Though his countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. But I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with a salmon fillet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Okay. <laughs> Nor do right. I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. He seems a different man, a younger man. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked happy. 
It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Okay. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past. Remind him of all the pain. Is this pain some type of like old shit sto love story where you want to tell him all your feelings but you're not going to say anything about it? <laughs> I'm going to just lie to her. <coughs> yeah, I just kind of say that right now. This is a fucking lie. He. <coughs> Are you sure? <laughs> then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. What a relief. Wait, what? I was kidding! In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. This research is important, I know. But if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. Jesus. She believed the lie. We are terrible people. I'm a terrible person. Speak with the people of the... Schwistalium. The Quistalium. We're gonna oofy everything now. This here is a Quistalium geek cape. And then uh, over there's a... Uh, it's just a nobody, you yeah? uh, know? We are big to the... Fa uh, the Spagewix guy. Who's gonna... Talk to that guy. I found like a, I sound like a, I found like a fucking idiot, but I don't care. And uh, oh, one's over here. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of people. Jesus Christ, these are all the important people, aren't they? The NPCs. We gotta go to the crystalline mean. Crystalline mean. Crystalline. Crystalline. I forgot what. They said the word. <coughs> they said the word crystalline. 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 In the fucking cutscene, I for completely forgot. I'm gonna just have to fucking tell myself what the fuck it's pronounced. How it's pronounced. Okay. Uh, where am I going again? Oh yeah, the Krista bleh mean. These are <coughs> these are really huge ass doors to be opening for just one guy, and that guy is me. <laughs> the fucking way he lined up, dude. <laughs> the music like surprise. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm making fun of my. I. It's not really that funny. It just amuses me. I. Right, I right, calm the fuck down here. We just. Okay. Holy shit! That's a lot of people. He just brought everyone though. Damn, yes, dude. This looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. Wait, what the? I'm, I, I'm about to fucking drop a fucking. Like, they would be more inclined to take the word of the warrior of darkness. I have a bad feeling about this. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? They're gonna call me a madman, dude. <laughs> <coughs> Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> See, he's about to fucking. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. I'm getting ideas about how to make this funny and stupid at the same time. actually talking to people, man. <laughs> Wicked White. The Warriors of Light did all that? So they never... I mean... They only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it too. 
In the end, they saved us. And we cursed their names. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? The way it's gonna build up towards like that story thing? This should go a long way towards clearing the air. No, this is about to fucking be the beginning of a fucking clusterfuck here. I, 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 I see it coming right now. There's, he's right there! He's right there! I called it! I called it, dude! Our bird who's not our bird. Missing his goatee. Impossible. I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition, but a warrior of light and darkness both. Ardbert. Yeah, you know about that guy. What in the world? It's you! The one who slew the eater! Oh. That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. Even sounds like Ardbert. People of the Crystarium! I am Ardbert. One of those you know as a warrior of light. You wouldn't say those things. That's impossible. You should be dead. You should be dead. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given new life, so too have I. I know not why I and I alone have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. You wouldn't say that either. The hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. Oh, what the hell is he doing? They don't know that! But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. Uh-huh. What? Us? Warriors of light? <laughs> None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Any one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man, and the resolve to see it through. Okay. I don't buy this. Ah, uh, something bad's gonna happen. I, I, I just, I sense it. From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. Yet whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. For better we retired under the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Go. I will stay here and watch. feeling about this all 
Oh, hey, we're watching. So, that is a warrior of light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed Artbert. It has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? I was gonna say that. Exactly these words right here. These words. Artbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. Mm hmm Because we re rejoined. Yet that which standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. Which leaveth but one plausible explanation. That he is an Asian. Inhabiting the flesh of the fallen. My, that is unsavory. And they do this often, you say? Verily, for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none save those gifted with the echo can perceive them. Indeed, when Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Ninfilia and the Warrior of Light. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. Is it not peculiar, then, that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible? Given that he was once a warrior of light, or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma, his ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coaxed this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. Agreed. It is plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements, as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? It would appear Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind, and I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. <laughs> 